on a windy Tuesday evening in San Antonio, Texas. We welcome you to Tiger Baseball on Vibe Live tonight. Your Tigers takes on their rivals from Alamo Heights, the Mules, and your Tigers coming up. And with that, good evening, everyone, and welcome to Tiger Baseball on Vibe Live. It's been six days since the Tigers have taken the field. Tigers losing their final non-district game Wednesday, after Wednesday afternoon to McCallum, 3-2, to two, to run the record to 9-7 and seven tonight. They get back into district play, going up against their rivals, a team that they played three times last season in the Alamo Heights Mules. For the Mules, they are reeling and reeling badly they have lost four out of the last five they are one and three coming into tonight losing last week to a burning champion team that your tigers smacked around not too long ago 13 to nothing they lost last week they are six and ten coming into tonight one and three in district play when we come back the tiger of the week National Anthem, starting lineups, pregame festivities will continue right here from Almost Park here in beautiful San Antonio, Texas. And this is Tiger Baseball on Vibe Live. What's your favorite high school sports memory? A late inning rally? A game winning shot? A photo finish? Maybe it's a pep rally or a pregame ritual. Maybe it's the euphoria of a late night bus ride home after a hard fought win. Maybe it's having pizza with teammates after the game. Now, imagine if it never happened at all. School sports need your help. With budgets getting tighter, it's more than the games that are on the line. It's all the traditions, the community pride, the culture of your hometown high school, plus, all those memories that are on the line too. What can you do? It's simple. Buy a ticket when you can. Go to a game. Take the whole family. Let's do everything we can to keep those cherished school sports memories alive. This message presented by the Texas University Interscholastic League and the Texas High School Athletic Directors Association. here to the ballparks at Alamo Heights. Tiger Baseball on White Good Live. Afternoon and welcome to Tigers Alamo and Heights. Mules tonight in district play. Tigers come in with a record of two and one in district play. Mules come in with a record of one and three. This is the first of three district games this week for the Tigers as they're introducing the starting lineups for both teams. Tigers will host San Antonio Veterans Memorial Friday night right here also on Vibe Live. And then Saturday afternoon in Kyle against Lehman. So full week ahead of Tigers baseball right here on Vibe Live. As they're slowly announcing the starting lineup, we'll give it to you. Batting leadoff, playing in right field, number 14, Theo Howard. Batting second, a little bit of a change tonight. The senior himself seven, playing the shortstop, Nico Redis. Batting third, playing the third tonight, AP, Aiden Perry. The freshman phenom, Taylor Tracy. Batting cleanup tonight, 
and playing the center field. Mason Ashlock, who has been the everyday first baseman, he is batting fifth. Batting sixth on the bump. Big B, Brandon Arvison. Brandon, of course, coming in. Two and one in district play with that no hitter a couple of weeks ago. Matt Schindler behind home plate as normal. Batting eight, seventh. Batting eight tonight. The designated hitter is going to be Sammy Agajanian. And batting ninth, playing left field, is Parker Cook. We'll turn it over now to the public address announcer here at the ballparks for the rest of the starting lineup of Alamo Heights. And the pregame festivities are a wrap. This week's Tiger of the Week. Of Theo Howard. Right fielder number 14. Chilly night tonight here in San Antonio. It is 7 o'clock on the dot. As the first pitch from Hart. 
That's high for ball one. Want to know the Theo. And Hart looks like he's ready to go. And quickly, the 1-0. That's high once again. Two balls, no strikes now to Theo Howard. As Hart winds, delivers. And that is a strike. Two and one to Theo Howard. Almost park, of course. Right smack down in the middle of one of the most beautiful suburbs in all of San Antonio in Alamo Heights. And Theo fouls it off to the net. Count goes even, two balls and two strikes. One thing we get while we're down here is the smell of burgers, hot dogs, the whole nine yards. Hart now. Readies the 2-2. And Theo gets called out on strikes as Hart gets his first strike out of this evening. Okay, here's Nico now. Nico, who has been batting in the nine hole the majority of the season, tonight in the two hole. That's Hart. Fires. And Nico looks at strike one. No balls, one strike to Nico. And Hart delivers. That's outside. Count is even the ball in the strike now to Nico. AP is on deck. With Taylor Tracy in the hole. And Hart delivers. Nico fouls it off to the net. Brush the photographer back. A ball of two strikes now to Nico. Chilly, chilly afternoon after we got hit with a few tornado watches last night here in San Antonio. Hart goes wide and outside, and the count is even two balls and two strikes. Tigers, of course. Three games this week, Friday night, San Antonio Veterans Memorial comes to the jungle. And then back in action Saturday afternoon as Hart delivers. And Nico swings and misses. He foul tips it. Count remains two balls, two strikes. Tigers go to Kyle Saturday afternoon to take on Lehman. The Lobos. All games right here on Vibe Live as we are smacked down in district play. Hart. Winds, delivers, Nico pops it. And it's going to sail in the center field. 40 out, two outs now. As Gunter gets that out on Nico. As AP now steps up to the plate. Late arriving crowd here in the ballparks as Hart delivers. And AP looks at ball one. One and zero now to AP. And as you hear the AP chance from the dugout and AP pops it, it's high, it's gonna be playable and it is caught for the third out that time by Sobe. The Tigers go down in order. Brandon Arvison and the Tiger defense comes up onto the field next. Bottom of the first coming up. And this is Tiger Baseball on Vibe Live. All of us love sports, but not all sports are created equal. College sports have big budgets, dedicated alumni networks, and corporate sponsorships. Professional sports have even deeper pockets. Millionaire owners, lucrative TV and radio deals, and merchandise sales. High school sports have you. Everyone agrees high school sports give us plenty of reasons to cheer. And now's a great time for us to give back. Supporting your hometown high school won't cost you much. 
but it will go a long way to ensuring the games we love the most are here to stay. Texas high school sports. They're good for our kids, good for our community, and best of all, they're good for you. This message presented by the Texas University Interscholastic League and the Texas High School Athletic Directors Association. Inside the city limits here in San Antonio, Texas. Tiger Baseball on Vibe Live. And here is Big B. Brandon Arvison this season in district play, two and one. He's given up one run in three games. He no hit the Canyon Cougars two weeks ago tonight. Pitched another outstanding game last Tuesday night against Bernie Champion. And now he has the lineup of Ben and Agulo, Corbin Gunter, and James Sobey to begin this bottom of the first. As Angulo steps up to the plate now. As Brandon Arvison deals the first pitch of the game. And Angulo bounced it straight to Big B, and B couldn't get out of his glove for an infield hit that time for Ben and Angulo. So quickly, the Mules get the first hit of the game, and up comes Corbin Gunter, the center fielder, center fielder with a runner on and no outs. Around the horn at third base is Aiden Perry tonight, not Sam Magajania. A little bit of a change. Nico is in his normal spot at shortstop. Here's the first pitch of the at-bat from Big B as he takes a deep look at first as that pitch is tipped foul. Strike one. At second base tonight is going to be the JV called up a few weeks ago. He has earned his stripes. Jackson Conover. And at first base, Mason Ashlock. In the outfield tonight, Parker Cook. Out of left field, center field, Taylor Tracy. And in right field, Theo Howard. As here's the 0-1 now to Gunter. As Arvison, deep look at first. And Gunter swings and misses. Four strike two. 0-2 now to Corbin Gunter. James Sobey in the on-deck circle for the Mules. As Big B readies the 0-2. And Gunter fouls it out of play, out of the stadium. Count remains. No balls and two strikes. And now the 0-2, Arvison's ready. He delivers. That's high. Schindler thought about throwing it, but he kept it to himself. A ball and two strikes now to Corbin Gunter. As Big B likes the pitch, he winds, runner goes, and Matt... Couldn't get the ball out of his glove, so it's stolen base for Ben and Agulo. He's at second now. Two balls and two strikes now to Corbin Gunter. And now Brandon delivers the 2-2. And that is low. Count is full now on Gunter with James Sobey in the on-deck circle. Arvison delivers, and that's high, and the first two base runners gets on for the Mules. Angulo's at second, Gunter now at first. No out still here in the bottom of the first. Here's James Sobey now with two on and no outs. Matt Schindler out to talk to Brandon Arvison. Now, 
Arvison. Brennan's been in trouble in the early parts of the innings. At that time, Sobey did go around, strike one, 0-1 to James Sobey. He was also in trouble against Canyon a couple weeks ago, still ended up with a no-hitter. Arvison checks back at second, does it again. Long look, and he delivers. That is just a tad bit outside. Evens the count at a ball on the strike. Bruno Robles in the on-deck circle for the Mules. Here's the one one to Sobey. Sobey pops it. Theo Howard is underneath it. And it goes out of the park. Home run for James Sobey. Three-run shot. Three run over James Sobey. And the Mules take an early three-nothing lead. First runs given up since Butel Johnson three games ago in district play. First home run this season given up by Brandon Arvison. Right fielder number 13, Bruno Robles. And here's Robles. Still no outs here in the bottom of the first. Three nothing mules. as Arvison delivers, and Robles hits it in the center field for a base hit. So the, force, the first four hitters for the Mules have tagged Brandon Arvison. No outs. And now Edward Hart, the pitcher, hitting in the five hole, up to bat with no outs and a runner on first. As Arvison checks back at first, does it again, delivers that time. That one is into the dirt for ball one. 1-0 one now on Hart. 3 nothing Mules, bottom of the first. Big B delivers, and Hart slices it in the left field for another base hit. Four hits and a walk for the Mules thus far here in this bottom of the first. Courtesy runner at first base, number four, Mark Zucker. As Zucker now comes in the courtesy run for Hart. As Holden Carter now comes in, the sixth hitter of this inning for the Mules. Two on, no out still. And it's 3 nothing Alamo Heights. As Big B delivers, swing and miss that time. And it's 0-1. Carter now back in the box. Here's the 0-1. From Big B as he checks back at second. He delivers. Carter shows bunt, lays down a beauty, but Matt picks it up for the first out of the inning. But the runners do advance. Tigers finally get the first out. But the Mules have another run, scoring run 90 feet away. As Harrison Sobey now comes up with two on and one out. And a 3 nothing Mule lead. As Arvison likes the pitch, and he delivers. That one is high for ball one. 1-0 one now to Harrison Sobey. Arvison fires. Sobey fouls it off of the net. Count goes even. 1-1. One one. Will Baldrick. In the on-deck circle for the Mules. 
And that pitch goes behind Matt Schindler. Matt can't find it. Another run comes in, and it's four nothing Mules. As that time, Zucker comes in to, to score. Four nothing. Alamo Heights. Stunner right now. As Brandon Arvison right now is being rocked around a bit. Coach Payne to talk with his entire infield. Let's see if the Tigers should get out of this inning. Mule still with a runner at third. Two balls and a strike now to Harrison Sobey with a runner at third. One out, four nothing, Alamo Heights. Arvison delivers. That pitch is low and inside, three balls and a strike. And now Sobey now up on the count, 3-1. Sobey slices it. That one is deep. Taylor Tracy is underneath it, catches it for the second out. But here comes the run, and it's 5 nothing, Mules. Not exactly the start that Brandon Arvison and the Tigers were looking for to begin this game. Broderick now check swings. Tips goes foul. 0 and 1 now to the left fielder. As that pitch is outside. Let's see, he may not have counted that first pitch. And that pitch is high. Two balls, no strikes to Broderick. Here's Arvison. Delivery. Broderick hits it straight to Nico. Nico grabs it. And finally, the Tigers get out of the inning as it was a close play as Ashlock slips. But nonetheless, he does get the third out. But the Mules put five on the board. And they lead 5 nothing, heading into the second inning. This is Tiger Baseball on Fight Live. There are no words to describe it. The isolation, the boredom, the loneliness. If you're wondering where your teenage son or daughter's spirit went, you're hardly alone. The past year has been devastating, especially for them. But here's the good news. They might just find it again playing high school sports. Workouts that stimulate, teammates and coaches that care, the sense of belonging so many of us have been missing lately. That's what school sports are all about. The sense of achievement is real and the camaraderie is hard to beat. Coping with uncertainty is difficult, but school sports can help the teenagers in your family start feeling like themselves again. Encourage them to give it a try. High school sports, it's so much more than a game. This message presented by the Texas University Interscholastic League and the Texas High School Athletic Directors Association. We are back. It was just a weird scenario that just happened. As they called the runner safe at first in the middle of our break. So Jackson Duffin is up now, the ninth hitter of this first inning. Broderick did still second. All that went down in the middle of the break. As Arvison delivers, that pitch is tipped 
for a foul. Two balls and a strike now to Jackson Duffin. Top of the order in Bennett Angulo. In the on next circle for the Mules. As Arvison fires. At that time, and it's going to be slight. Oh, great play by Nico. And Nico, AP couldn't control it. And the runner is safe. So now Angulo back up here in the first inning. And the Mules with two on, with two outs. Angulo with a leadoff single to start this ball game. As the wind is starting to kick up just a little bit, Arvison fires. That pitch is high and inside, 1-0. Five nothing mules. Bottom of the first. Brandon Arvison now checks it first. He fires. And that time Angulo slices it to the backstop. Count goes even. A ball and a strike. So far, five runs off of five hits and a double steal. And the sixth run has come in for the Mules. As Duffin goes all the way from first to third and is now 6 nothing. Mules. Stunning events right now. And that pitch goes outside, two balls and a strike. Brandon Arvison just put his hands on his head when the run came across. And it's a slice, but Nico grab it. And let's see, that's a clean play. And we're finally out of this inning. Six on the board for the Mules. And they lead six nothing. Stunning here at the end of the first. This is Tiger Baseball on Vipe Live. Are you worried how 2020 has impacted your teen's social development? We are too. Want to know what might help? Participating in the performing arts in high school. It's been hard being a teenager recently. Hard to cope, hard to keep up, hard not to feel like you're missing out. Everything's different and nobody knows what's next. Encouraging your son or daughter to participate in performing arts can really help. Those are high school activities like band, orchestra, choir, theater, speech, and debate. They'll make new friends, develop confidence, and feel the satisfaction of being part of a team. Participation in the performing arts aren't a cure-all and they certainly won't make the pandemic go away but they will make the teenagers in your family feel like they're part of something special. This message presented by the NFHS and the Texas University Interscholastic League. Center fielder number 13, Taylor Tracy. Back here to Alamo Heights, six nothing mules. Here in the top of the second, Taylor Tracy comes up. Tigers are a bit shell shocked after that bottom of the first, and T. Tracy swings and misses for strike one. It's 0-1 now to the freshman phenom. Tracy, Mason Ashlock, and Brandon Arvison all do up this half inning for the Tigers. And T. Tracy with a good eye there for ball one. As Hart ready to 1-1, and Tracy Fouls it off of the net. Count goes to a ball and two strikes to Taylor Tracy. Here's Hart now with the one, two. T. Tracy swings and misses. The ball gets away from Silva, and Taylor Tracy does get on. Pass ball there by the catcher. Strikeout for 
Hart, that's his second. But Taylor Tracy is on. Here's Mace with a runner on and no outs. Taylor now with a nice lead off of first. Tigers looking to rally here in the top of the second. Hart delivers. That pitch is low for ball one. 1-0 one now to Mason Ashlock. Brandon Arvison is in the on-deck circle now for the Tigers. 6 nothing Mules. Hart looks at first. He fires. Ashlock pops it, and it's going to sail foul and into the bullpen. And the count goes even, the ball and the strike. Let's see if the Big Cats rally here in the second inning. Hart likes the pitch. Looks over at second. He fires. And Mace swings and misses. A ball and two strikes now to Mason Ashlock. Hart now looks at first. He fires. Mace fouls it once again, and it is going to go out of play and out of the stadium. Count remains a ball and two strikes to Mason Ashlock. As it's starting to get a little, little chilly here, and that pitch goes behind Silva. Silva can't find it. Taylor Tracy over the second. And now Taylor Tracy is going to stand up at third base. So another pass ball that time by Silva. And the count goes even. And the first run for the Tigers is now 90 feet away. Taylor Tracy is at third base. No outs. 2-2 count on Mason Ash Ashlock with the Tigers trailing 6-0. Hart fires the 2-2, and Mace dribbles it back to the pitcher, and Hart gets Mace out for the first out of this inning. And here it comes, Big B with a runner 90 feet away and one out. Brandon, of course, the rare player who pitches lefty but hits righty. Pitcher against pitcher right now as Hart fires the first pitch. And Big B fires it foul and out of play. 0-1 to Brandon Arvison. Matt Chandler in the on-next circle for the Tigers. 6-0 Alamo Heights. Hart now fires. Brandon Arvison fouls it in the same location. No balls and two strikes. As Hart now readies the 0-2. Silver sets up on the outside, and that pitch goes well outside. A ball and two strikes to Brandon Arvison. Arvison now, he's ready. Hart is taking a very long time with this one, and he's ready. And Hart fires the one-two. That one's into the dirt. Count goes even, two balls and two strikes. Big B back in the headers box. He's even in the count, two balls and two strikes. One away, runner at third. Hart fires, Arvison fouls it off the net and into the dugout. Count stays even, two balls and two strikes. First of three games this week for the Tigers. 
They host San Antonio Veterans Memorial Friday night right here on Vibe Live and then the layman on Saturday afternoon as that pitch goes high and inside, full count for Brandon Arvison. So we get into now more of a routine stage for our games. A lot of Tuesday, Friday games to round out this season and round out the month of March as Hart fires. And that pitch is outside, and Brandon Arvison gets on with a walk. Great battle there between the two pitchers. Two on, one out with Matt Schindler coming up. Matty Ice has runners at the corners and one out. Tigers trail 6-0. Coach Payne giving Matt some instructions. Courtesy runner at first base, number five, Luke Hudson. As Luke Hudson now, the courtesy runner, replacing Brennan Arvison. As Hart back on the rubber. Schindler in the box. Here's the first pitch of the at bat. And Matt Schindler, Schindler fouls it. The same location that both Taylor Tracy as well as Brandon Arvison has been fouling off to. 0-1 now to Matt Schindler. Here's the 0-1. Hart looks at first. He fires. Schindler, nice hit. And do they get it? They do. They turn the double play before Taylor Tracy was able to get in. And that will end the top of the second. No hits, a pass ball, and that is all. We played an inning and a half, 6 nothing, Alamo Heights. This is Tiger Baseball on Vipe Live. There are no words to describe it. The isolation, the boredom, the loneliness. If you're wondering where your teenage son or daughter's spirit went, you're hardly alone. The past year has been devastating, especially for them. But here's the good news. They might just find it again, playing high school sports. Workouts that stimulate, teammates and coaches that care, the sense of belonging so many of us have been missing lately. That's what school sports are all about. The sense of achievement is real, and the camaraderie is hard to beat. Coping with uncertainty is difficult, but school sports can help the teenagers in your family start feeling like themselves again. Encourage them to give it a try. High school sports, it's so much more than a game. This message presented by the Texas University Interscholastic League and the Texas High School Athletic Directors Association. Bottom of the second, Gunter, James Sobey, Bruno Robles, all coming up for the Mules as we welcome you back The Tiger Baseball on Vibe Live. Mules put up a sixth spot in the first inning against Brandon Arvison, pitcher who has been pure dominant here in district play as Corbin Gunter steps up to the plate. As Schindler is adjusting his mask. Coming into this game, Brandon Arvison had only given up the one run back against Buta Johnson, the first district game, as first pitch of this at bat goes. Conover hits it, and a routine play for the first out of this second inning. One pitch, one out. Third base with number five, James. As James Sobey comes up. Sobey with the big blast back in the first inning. A three-run home run off of Brandon Arvison. First home run Big B has given up all season. And that pitch goes well outside for ball one. 1-0 one now to Sobey. 
Here's the 1 0. And that pitch is low and inside, 2 0. No strikeout so far for Brandon Arvison as Big B fires the 2 0. And that pitch goes off the glove of Matt Schindler. Three balls, no strikes now to James Sobey. Quickly, the 3 0 from Arvison. And Big B gets that strike call in his 3 and 1. Here's the 3 1. As Arvison shook his head, that was a balk. And they're going to give it to him. Brandon Arvison was indecisive on that one. Sobey gets on on the balk. Here comes Robles. Robles is one for one, singling last inning. And now he has Sobey on first and one out. Right fielder number 13, Bruno Robles. That's Sobey. Takes a lead off and is a first pitch strike for Brandon Arvison. 0 and 1 now on Robles. A nice pitch there by Arvison, possibly his. Best pitch of the night. No balls and two strikes now to Robles. Arvison fires the 0-2. And he doesn't get that call. A ball and two strikes now to Bruno Robles. Arvison, long look now at first. Does it a second time. He fires. Robles fouls it to the dripping side. Count remains the ball and two strikes. Sobe now with a lead off of first. Brennan fires. That one pitches high. And Matt Schindler just throws the ball completely onto the dripping side. as Sobe advances to all the way to second. Coach Payne now finding out what happened. I don't know if the ball slipped out of Matt's hand or, or, or what. But it hit the wall of the dugout, and the count goes even, two balls and two strikes, with James Sobe now at second base. Arvison fires. And that is a borderline pitch, and Arvison does not get the call, and count goes full. The pitcher, Edward Hart, in the on-deck circle. One on, full count. And that time, Robles strikes out. And that is what Arvison needed. First strikeout tonight for Big B, second out of this inning. With Edward Hart. Coming up to bat. Pitcher number 15, Edward Hart. Hart is one for one tonight with a single back in the first. Arvison checks back at second. He fires. That pitch is into the dirt. 1 0. Hart gets on holding Carter in the on deck circle as Matt Schindler now is hurt as Coach Reynolds now coming to check up on him. Looks like the ball bounced up and hit him. And a timeout to check up on Matt Schindler as the trainers come out to check on him. Now Coach Pan is coming out as well. Looks like Matt. Looks like he. And Matt is going to be pulled from the game. It looks like Shin is going to have a replacement. 
and it should be Carter Gardner coming up. Let's see. And it is as Carter is running out. Carter now getting some warm-up pitches and get loose. Brandon Arvison that time throwing some heat. While we have a moment, once again this week, starting on Friday, Friday night, 7 p.m., the Patriots of San Antonio Veterans Memorial comes to the jungle. Coverage will begin at 6.50 with pregame, 7 o'clock first pitch right here on Vibe Live. Then on Saturday at Lehman, Tigers and Lobos, 1 p.m. first pitch in Kyle, Texas. That game also right here on Vibe Live. As Hart now steps up. Big B fires that pitch. Goes low and it's two balls, no strikes now to the opposing pitcher. Holding Carter in the on deck circle. That pitch bounces off the ground. And now Arvison trails three balls, no strikes, and a count against Hart. Let's see if Arvison throws a strike, and he doesn't. Four-pitch walk for Edward Hart. His second time on base tonight. And here it comes Holding Carter. Carter's 0 for 1. Courtesy runner, first base number four, Park Zunker. As he sacrificed himself. Back last inning. So now the Mules with two on, two outs. And a 6 nothing lead here in the bottom of the second. And Arvison delivers. And Carter bounces it in the center field for a base hit. Here comes the lead run. And Sobe scores the seventh run of this ball game for the Mules. And they lead now 7-0. As Harrison Sobe now steps up. Brendan Arvison, seven runs in the inning and two thirds so far. Need to get out this inning as he gets a first pitch strike and his own one now on Harrison Sobe. Will Roderick in the on deck circle for the Mules. Big B looks back at second. He fires the 0 1. As Sobe swings and misses, 0 and 2. And that time, Arvison goes well high. Count goes to a ball and two strikes now to Harrison Sobey. This mule team lost last week to Alamo Heights, 12-0. And right now, are putting it on our Tigers. Sobey fouls it. Coach Reynolds leaped up to ensure that he wasn't hit. Count remains the ball and two strikes. Big B fires the one, two, and swings and misses goes Harrison. And the Tigers get out of this inning. But the Mules get another one across the board, and they lead 7 0 at the end of two. This is Tiger Baseball on Vipe Live. What's your favorite high school sports memory? A late inning rally? A game winning shot? A photo finish? Maybe it's a pep rally or a pregame ritual. Maybe it's the euphoria of a late night bus ride home after a hard fought win. Maybe it's having pizza with teammates after the game. Now, imagine if it never happened at all. 
School sports need your help. With budgets getting tighter, it's more than the games that are on the line. It's all the traditions, the community pride, the culture of your hometown high school, plus all those memories that are on the line, too. What can you do? It's simple. Buy a ticket when you can. Go to a game. Take the whole family. Let's do everything we can to keep those cherished school sports memories alive. This message presented by the Texas University Interscholastic League and the Texas High School Athletic Directors Association. And Theo Howard all threw up. Seven nothing mules. Edward Hart fires. As Sammy looks, that ball one, and his own and his one and zero on Sam. Sam tonight DHing, I believe for the first time this season. And that pitch goes outside and it's two and zero on Sammy. Here's Hart now. He fires. And that's a strike. Two and one now on Sammy. Parker Cook in the on deck circle for the Tigers. Tigers trail 7 0 now. As Hart with a nice pitch to even a count out. Two balls and two strikes. The 2 2 now to Sammy. Sammy swings and misses, and Sammy goes down on strikes. Third strikeout tonight for Hart. First out of this third inning. And here it comes, Parker Cook. Parker tonight playing left field. Batting in the nine hole. Facing off against Hart. Hart gets the first pitch strike, and is 0-1 now on Parker Cook. Theo Howard is in the on deck circle for the Tigers. The 0 1 from Hart. And Cook swings and misses. No balls, two strikes now to Parker Cook. And here's the 0 2. And Parker Cook slices it and goes right to the first baseman for the second out of this inning. Here's the top of the order, and Theo Howard. Theo, 0 for 1 tonight. He did strike out back in the first. Two outs now, top of the third. Tigers trail 7 0. Coach Payne now talking to Theo. As Theo now heads to the box. The wind right now is blowing in as the sun is starting to set. Temperatures are starting to drop a little bit more. As Hart fires the first pitch of his at bat. And Theo swings and misses. Four strike one. 0 oh and 1 now to Theo. And here's the 0 1. A nice pitch. Catches the inside corner. No balls and two strikes now to Theo Howard. And now Hart with the 0 2. And Theo swings and he goes down on strikes. Strikeout number four for Edward Hart. And the Tigers go down in order. No runs, no hits, no errors, and no one left on. At the end of two and a half, Mules seven, Tigers nothing. This is Tiger Baseball on Vipe Live. All of us love sports, but not all sports are created equal. College sports have big budgets, dedicated alumni networks, and corporate sponsorships. Professional sports have even deeper pockets. 
millionaire owners, lucrative TV and radio deals, and merchandise sales. High school sports have you. Everyone agrees, high school sports give us plenty of reasons to cheer. And now's a great time for us to give back. Supporting your hometown high school won't cost you much, but it will go a long way to ensuring the games we love the most are here to stay. Texas High School Sports. They're good for our kids, good for our community, and best of all, they're good for you. This message presented by the Texas University Interscholastic League and the Texas High School Athletic Directors Association. Duffin and the top of the order, Angulo all coming up for the Mules. Seven, nothing here in the bottom of the third. Melvin Jones back here with you. Tiger baseball on Vipe Live as Brendan Arvison gets the first pitch strike to begin this bottom of the third. Quickly, Big B fires. That pitch is inside, one and one. Project tonight, 0 for 1. Grounding out back in the first. Arvison. Fires to 1-1, and I don't think Brodrick went around. He didn't. Two balls and a strike now to Will Brodrick. Jackson Duffin in the on-deck circle for the Mules, and that pitch catches the inside corner. Beautiful pitch there by Big B. Count goes even, two balls and two strikes. And that time, Duffin swings and misses, and Carter Gardner is able to fire to get out Broderick for the first out in this third inning. One away, here comes Jackson Duffin. Duffin got on in a weird, weird play back in the first. Thought it was a put out. as Arvison fires, and that catches the corner one and one. Here's a pitch from Arvison. Swings and misses, a ball and two strikes now to Duffin. Here's a one, two, and Duffin goes down on strikes. Second out, third put out tonight for Brandon Arvison. And here comes the top of the order and Bennett and Gulo. And Gulo, one for two, both at bats back in the first. As Brandon Arvison fires and he catches the inside corner for strike one. And it's 0 for 1 on Angulo. And that pitch goes low. A ball and a strike. And that time, Angulo slices it in the center field for a base hit. So Angulo gets on for the second time tonight. Two outs. Here comes Gorbin Gunter. Gorbin Gunter, yes. Gunter tonight, 0 for 1. He did walk back in the first, grinding out last inning. Arvison now. As Gunter pops it, Theo Howard is underneath it, and the Tigers get out of this inning with no harm. A hit, and that is all. We play three full innings. Alamo Heights leads 7 nothing. This is Tiger Baseball on Vipe Live. There are no words to describe it. The isolation. The boredom. The loneliness. If you're wondering where your teenage son or daughter's spirit went, you're hardly alone. The past year has been devastating. 
especially for them. But here's the good news. They might just find it again, playing high school sports. Workouts that stimulate, teammates and coaches that care, the sense of belonging so many of us have been missing lately. That's what school sports are all about. The sense of achievement is real, and the camaraderie is hard to beat. Coping with uncertainty is difficult, but school sports can help the teenagers in your family start feeling like themselves again. Encourage them to give it a try. High school sports, it's so much more than a game. This message presented by the Texas University Interscholastic League and the Texas High School Athletic Directors Association. P and T Tracy all coming up here at the top of the fourth. Tiger Trail 7-0. Tiger Baseball on Vipe Live. As here come Nico for his second plate appearance tonight. And Nico looks at ball one. Nico flied out to center field. His first plate appearance back in the first. As Hart. He fires. And that pitch goes to the backstop. Two balls, no strikes now to Nico. I remember last season's game at this stadium. It was chilly as well as the temperatures has dropped. And that pitch goes well inside of Nico. Three balls and no strikes. Hart now with the 3 to Nico. And that pitch goes outside. And Nico is on for the first time tonight. Four pitch walk for Nico Ruedas. One on and no outs. Here comes AP. Perry tonight. Third base number 11, Aiden Perry. Popped out to third in foul territory back in the first. Nico with a nice lead off of first. Hart delivers. And AP looks at strike one. 0 and 1. AP tonight playing third base. Nico leading off at first. Nice lead there for Nico. Hart looks at first. And he fires. And that pitch is outside. A ball and a strike now to Aiden Perry. Taylor Tracy in the on deck circle for the Tigers. Tigers knee runs. They trail 7 0. Hart. Fires. And that pitch goes above the head of Silva, and Nico is going to walk in the second. Two balls in the strike now to Aiden Perry. Nico Reddis now at second, taking the lead off of second. No out still here in the top of the fourth. His heart delivers. That pitch is outside. Three balls in the strike now to AP. The freshman phenom is in the on-deck circle. If there was any time to get a home run, this will be it. And AP has been close a few times so far this season. And that pitch is high, and Aiden Perry gets on. Back-to-back -back walks for Edward Hart. And with two on, no outs. Here it comes, T. Tracy. Taylor tonight got on after a pass ball from the catcher, striking out. Coach Reynolds, Coach Payne talking to both Taylor Tracy and Nico and Aiden Perry. He's also up there as well. As Mason Ashlock heads back to the on deck circle. T. Tracy now. Hoping to get the Tigers on board. Hart now looks at second. And he fires. And did Taylor go around? He didn't. Nice eye there from the freshman, 1-0. and Hart now 
Looks back at second. Here's the 1-0 to Taylor. And that's outside. Two balls, no strikes to Taylor Tracy. Edward Hart has no control right now. 3-0 and on Taylor Tracy. He is a pitch away from loading up the bases. And Taylor Tracy looks at strike one. Three and one now on T. Tracy. With Mason Ashlock in the on-deck circle. Tigers trail 7-0. Hart looks back at Nico. He fires the 3-1. And T. Tracy pops it into left center field. T. Tracy with a home run. Fourth home run this season, and the Tigers finally get on the board. Taylor Tracy, the freshman, with a bomb. Taylor Tracy getting the Tigers on the board, and they needed it. 7-3 now. Off of the three-run home run from Taylor Tracy. Here's Mace now. No one out. Tigers finally on the board. And Mace fouls it out of play. 0-1. That was a bomb. Into right center. Hart. Gets a nasty pitch to Mason Ashlock. Count goes to a ball and a strike. No out still. 7-3 now, Alamo Heights. And that pitch is low, 2-1 now on Mace. Tigers are starting to come alive. Brandon Arvison in the on-deck circle. Hart now. Swing is misses. And Nashlock goes down on strikes first out of this fourth inning. Here it comes, Big B. Brandon got on back in the second on a walk. His team has given him three runs to play with now. As the first pitch goes low, 1-0 on Big B. Tigers still trail 7-3. But that home run by Taylor Tracy was huge. Hart fires the 1-0. That pitch goes outside. Two balls, no strikes now to Brandon Arvison. Hart. With the 2-0. That pitch is high. Three balls, no strikes now to Brandon Arvison. Big B steps out of the box. This could be huge. Carter Gardner in the on-deck circle. And Big B looks at strike one, and it's 3-1 to Brandon Arvison. Hart now, ready to 3 1. He fires. That pitch is into the dirt. Brandon Arvison is on with his second consecutive walk. And here comes Carter Gardner. Carter coming in to replace Matt Schindler, who was injured. Courtesy runner at first base, number five. As Luke Hudson out the courtesy run. Batter is the catcher, number 18, Carter Gardner. One on, one out, 7-3 mules. But the Tigers are getting it going as Carter swings and misses for strike one and is 0-1 on the catcher. Sam McAjanian in the on-deck circle for the Tigers. Hart looks at first. He fires. 
And Carter swings and misses for strike two. 0 oh, and 2 now to Carter. No balls, two strikes now to Carter Gardner. Luke takes off. Luke Hudson has him a stolen base. Luke Hudson with another stolen base. People forget Luke Hudson can run. And now Luke Hudson is in scoring position. A ball and two strikes to Carter Gardner. Hart now readies the one, two. And he fires. That pitch is inside. Two balls, two strikes now on Carter. Go get him at Hart. Sam McAjanian is ready. He is in the on deck circle. Two balls, two strikes now to Carter Gardner. Hart fires. That pitch is low. Full count now on Carter. Hart finds himself in some trouble right now. And now Hart checks back at Luke. He fires a 3-2. And that pitch is inside and gets away from Silva. Luke Hudson goes to third. And now the Tigers, runners at the corners. With Sammy coming up to bat. One away. Trailing 7-3. We're going to have another courtesy runner. Designated hitter number four, Sam Trying to see who is the courtesy runner. Haven't seen it yet. Yeah, Sammy now steps up. Two on and one out. Sammy does have a home run this season. Hart fires. That pitch is well outside. 1-0 oh now on Sammy. Sammy gets on. Parker Cook is ready to go. Hart now ready. It's the 1-0 oh to Sammy. And that pitch is high. Two balls, no strikes to Agajanian. Hart, ready to 2 0. And that pitch is high. Three balls, no strikes to Sammy. Hart, once again, a pitch away from loading up the bags. Here is the 3 0 to Sammy. Ball four. Bases are loaded. Three consecutive walks for Edward Hart. And let's see if we're going to have a pitching change. Loaded bags. One out. Seven three, Alamo Heights. But Dripping Springs are in business. We are going to have a pitching change. We will tell you who it is. Bases loaded. Tying run is at home plate. This is Tiger Baseball on Vipe Live. What's your favorite high school sports memory? A late inning rally? A game-winning shot, a photo finish? Maybe it's a pep rally or a pregame ritual. Maybe it's the euphoria of a late-night bus ride home after a hard-fought win. Maybe it's having pizza with teammates after the game. Now, imagine if it never happened at all. School sports need your help. With budgets getting tighter, it's more than the games that are on the line. It's all the traditions, the community pride, the culture of your hometown high school, plus all those memories that are on the line, too. What can you do? It's simple. Buy a ticket when you can. Go to a game. Take the whole family. Let's do everything we can 
to keep those cherished school sports memories alive. This message presented by the Texas University Interscholastic League and the Texas High School Athletic Directors Association. Sam Alfonsane, the new pitcher for Alamo Heights as Edward Hart is heading to first base. Bases are loaded. One out. Tigers trail 7-3. Tying run is coming up to the plate in Parker Cook. Parker Cook tonight, hitting out in the nine hole. 0 for 1. As he had an excuse me bunt that went straight to the first baseman. Back last inning. As Alphonse now getting ready for his first pitch tonight. Going up against Parker Cook. Alpha saying fires. Parker Cook, he fires it, and it's going to sail into right field for the second out. And Luke Hudson is going to cruise on in for the fourth run tonight for the Tigers. Tigers now trail 7-4. Two on, two outs, top of the order, and Theo Howard up to the plate. Theo tonight with two strikeouts. As he's facing Alphonsein. And Alphonsein fires. And that pitch is high. 1-0 on Theo. If Theo gets on, Nico is in the on-deck circle. Tigers with a huge rally here in his fourth inning. They were down 7-0. They now trail 7-4. Alphonsein fires the 1-0. And Theo Howard slices it. Great stop by the second baseman. And he does get Sammy out. And that would do it. But not before the Tigers put four on the board. They now trail 7-4. Halfway done here at Alamo Heights. And this is... Tiger Baseball on Fight Live. There are no words to describe it. The isolation. The boredom. The loneliness. If you're wondering where your teenage son or daughter's spirit went, you're hardly alone. The past year has been devastating, especially for them. But here's the good news. They might just find it again, playing high school sports. Workouts that stimulate, teammates and coaches that care, the sense of belonging so many of us have been missing lately. That's what school sports are all about. The sense of achievement is real, and the camaraderie is hard to beat. Coping with uncertainty is difficult, but school sports can help the teenagers in your family start feeling like themselves again. Encourage them to give it a try. High school sports. It's so much more than a game. This message presented by the Texas University Interscholastic League and the Texas High School Athletic Directors Association. James Sobey, Bruno Robles, Edward Hart, all do up here in the bottom of the fourth, 7-4 now. Alamo Heights is Brendan Arvison still out there dealing 
And that pitch goes wide. Four ball on one. Four runs off of one hit. Three errors for the Tigers. Seven runs off seven hits. No errors for the Mules. As Sobe swings and misses for strike one. And this ball in the strike now on James Sobe. Big B fires. That pitch is high and outside. Two balls in the strike now on James Sobe. Arverson, he's ready. Here's a 2-1 to Sobe. That pitch is high. Three balls in the strike now. 7-4. Tigers rallied with a four spot. The top half of this inning. And Big B ready. It's the 3-1. And Sobe fouls it. Count goes full on Sobe. Three balls, two strikes. Bruno Robles in the on deck circle. Big B fires a 3 2. And that pitch goes into the dirt. As Sobe gets on for a third time tonight. Had the home run. Arvison balked back in second. And now a walk. Put Sobe on for the third time. Here's Robles now. Robles tonight, one for two. Single in the first, strikeout in the second. 7-4, Alamo Heights. Arvison looks back at first. He fires beautiful off-speed pitch for strike one. 0-1 now to Bruno Robles. Edward Hart. In the on-deck circle, Hart moved over the first last half inning. And Robles swings and miss absolutely. Got nothing but air. And he falls behind the count, 0-2. As Big B fires, that pitch is over the head of Robles. A ball and two strikes now. What a rally for the Tigers. Last half inning. Brandon Arvison now starting to settle down. And now, Sobe got picked off and he was in trouble and he knew it. Great defense there by Big B, Mason Ashlock, and Nico Reddis. A ball and two strikes, one away now. And Robles goes down on strikes. Brandon Arvison is starting to cook. Second out of the inning. Here comes Edward Hart. Hart tonight. One for one. Single in the first. And he had a walk back in the second. And Big B fires. And that pitch goes right behind Carter Gardner. 1-0. Arvison now, ready to the 1-0, he fires. At that time, it is high, it is deep, and it is caught at the warning track by Theo Howard to wrap up this fourth inning. No runs, no hits, no errors, no one left on at the end of four. Mules lead seven to four. And this is Tiger Baseball on Vipe Live. What's your favorite high school sports memory? A late inning rally? A game winning shot? A photo finish? Maybe it's a pep rally or a pregame ritual. Maybe it's the euphoria of a late night bus ride home after a hard fought win. Maybe it's having pizza with teammates after the game. Now, imagine if it never happened at all. School sports need your help. With budgets getting tighter, it's more than the games that are on the line. It's all the traditions, the community pride, the culture of your hometown high school, plus all those memories that are on the line too. What can you do? It's simple. Buy a ticket when you can. Go to a game. Take the whole family. Let's do everything we can to keep those cherished school sports memories alive. 
This message presented by the Texas University Interscholastic League and the Texas High School Athletic Directors Association. Nico, AP, T. Tracy, all do up here at the top of the fifth. Welcome back to Tiger Baseball and Vibe Live. Melvin Jones back here with you. Seven to four. Tigers put up a four spot in the fourth inning. And now the first three that are up last inning are the first three that are up this inning. As Alphonse readies the first pitch to Nico. And that pitch goes behind Silver for ball one. Nico tonight 0 for 1. Flying out the center. Back in the first, and he walked last inning to begin the Tiger rally. Alphonsane readies the one on the Nico, and that pitch catches the inside corner, strike one. One and one now on Nico. Aiden Perry in the on-deck circle for the Tigers. Alphonsane readies the one and one, and he fires, and Nico Bows it off onto the streets. A ball and two strikes now to Nico Redis. And now Nico is ready. Alphonse is ready. The one two. Nico grounds it to shortstop. And it's going to be a put out that time by Angulo for the first out of this fifth inning. Here it comes AP. AP tonight, 0 for 1. Popping out in foul territory in the first inning. And then walking back in the fifth. Alphonse fires great pitch for strike one. 0 and 1 now to Nico. And now Alphonse Ready to see 0-1 to AP. AP looks at strike two. Just nasty that time by Sam Alphonse. And the count goes to 0-2 now on AP. Alphonse. No balls, two strikes against AP. And he fires the 0-2. And Aiden Perry. Slices it foul into his own dugout. Count still. No balls and two strikes. Five walks in that inning. Last inning for Edward Hart. Leading to four runs. That three-run shot from Taylor Tracy. An AP borderline call. A ball and two strikes now to AP. Alphonse ready to one, two. He fires. That is outside, and count goes even. Two balls, two strikes now to Aiden Perry. Two balls, two strikes to AP. And Alphonse, he fires. And that pitch is low outside, and the count goes full on AP. Taylor Tracy in the on-deck circle. T. Tracy, of course, with that three-run bomb last inning. And now AP back in the box. Alphonse. He's ready. The 3 2 to AP. AP pops it. And it is high. And it goes straight to Gunter for the second out of this fifth inning. Here comes T. Tracy. Center fielder number 13, Taylor Tracy. Tracy tonight, one for one. 
that three-run home run back last inning. He also got on, on off of a pass ball, off of a strikeout. Back in the second. No one on, two outs. Here in the top of the fifth. 7-4, Alamo Heights. And Taylor gets brushed back a bit in this 1-0. Alfonsane ready to 1 0, and he fires. Taylor Tracy grounds it and is going to go foul. Taylor Tracy has some wheels. As if it had stayed fair, he would have beat the throw. A ball in the strike now to Taylor Tracy. Mason Ashlock in the on deck circle. 7 4 mules. Game is getting interesting now. Alfonsane, he likes the pitch, and he readies. The one one to T. Tracy. Taylor Tracy slices it into the left field for a base hit. Second hit of night for the freshman Phenom. And he gets on with two outs. Here comes Mace. Ashlock tonight, 0 for 2. He did strike out last inning. But he has Taylor Tracy at first base. Two outs. 7-4 Alamo Heights. Sam Alfonsane. Ready for the first pitch of the at bat. And that pitch goes away for ball one. One and zero now to Mason Ashlock. Mace is ready. Alfonsine is ready. Here's the one zero. As Mace calls time, last minute timeout for Mace. And now the 2 0 now. Should be 1 0. And Ashlock hits one in the right field for a base hit. Taylor Tracy is at second base. Mason Ashlock at first. Two on, two outs. Here he comes Brandon Arvison with a chance to tie this ball game. After the Tigers were down 7 0 at the end of two. Big B tonight with two walks. Alfonsane ready for the first pitch. He looks back at second and he fires. And that pitch is high and inside. 1-0 and oh to Brandon Arvison. Timeout. And we're going to have a mound visit. Brandon Arvis is going to walk over to Coach Payne. As the C, how long this conversation is going to be. Quick conversation between Coach Payne and Brandon Arvison. Sam Alfonsane still in discussion with his catcher and his pitching coach and looks like they're good to go. Catcher is still out there. Silver is still out there. And now he's going to run back. 1-0 and to Brandon Arvison. Tigers have two on, two outs. 7-4, Alamo Heights. And the Arv chant coming from the dugout. Alpha Sane delivers, and Big B looks at strike one, and it's one and one now. Carter Gardner in the on-deck circle for the Tigers. Alpha Sane 
looks back at second, does it again, and he fires. This pitch is well outside. Two balls in the strike now to Brandon Arvison. Big B now back in the box. Ahead on the count, two balls in the strike. Alfonsine fires. That pitch is in and third and gets behind Silva. Taylor Tracy stops. Both runners were frozen. Three balls and a strike now to Brandon Arvison. Both runners could have advanced. Both runners were hesitant. And now Brandon, well ahead of the count now, three balls and a strike. Alfonsine, ready to three one and he fires. And that is outside and the bags are juiced. Brandon Arvison with his third walk tonight. Carter Gardner. With the bases loaded. And now another mound That's visit. First base number five, Luke we may have another pitching change. Luke Hudson is going to be the courtesy runner. And we do have a pitching change. So Alfonsine gets pulled. New pitcher now for the Mules. Bases loaded, two outs, top of the fifth. This is Tiger Baseball on Vipe Live. It's been a trying year for parents. They've been confronted with countless challenges and have always risen to the occasion. If it isn't too much to ask, the 826,000 high school student athletes in Texas have one last request. Please. Set an example. Disorderly fan conduct at high school athletic events is on the rise. It increasingly involves parents. There's no question that parents are passionate. There's no question they care about their children. But at a time when we're all wound a little more tightly than usual, it's worth remembering this about Texas high school sports. Always be a good example. Stop unruly fan behavior before it starts. This message presented by the Texas University Interscholastic League and the Texas High School Athletic Directors Association. So James Solby is a new pitcher for the Mules as we're back here to the ballparks at Alamo Heights. Mules lead 7-4, but the Tigers have the bags juiced. Two away, Carter Gardner coming up. Tigers trailed 7-0 at the end of two. And now have a chance to either tie or take the lead. As it's a few changes for the Mules. Carter Gardner at the dish. Bases loaded, two outs. Carter tonight with a walk. Back last inning. And now Sobey readies the first pitch to Carter, and he fires. And that is high for ball one. 1-0 one to Carter Gardner. Carter gets on. Sammy is in the on-deck circle. Here's the 1-0 to Carter. Sobey fires. Carter swings and misses. Four strike one. And it's one and one. Sobey, who has a home run himself tonight with the one one on Carter. Carter swings and misses in the strike two. A ball and two strikes now to Carter Gardner. Two singles. In this inning, and a walk. 
Carter Gardner behind the count, a ball and two strikes. The one, two, that's high and induces our wild. Two balls, two strikes and two outs. Sobey now ready to 2-2, two -two. and he fires. And that pitch got him looking. And Carter Gardner goes down on strikes. Two singles and a walk, but that's about it. Time to stretch, folks. 7-4. to four. Tigers trail heading into the bottom of the fifth. This is Tiger Baseball on Vipe Live. All of us love sports, but not all sports are created equal. College sports have big budgets, dedicated alumni networks, and corporate sponsorships. Professional sports have even deeper pockets. Millionaire owners, lucrative TV and radio deals, and merchandise sales. High school sports have you. Everyone agrees high school sports give us plenty of reasons to cheer. And now's a great time for us to give back. Supporting your hometown high school won't cost you much, but it will go a long way to ensuring the games we love the most are here to stay. Texas High School Sports. They're good for our kids, good for our community, and best of all, they're good for you. This message presented by the Texas University Interscholastic League and the Texas High School Athletic Directors Association. Bottom of the fifth, holding Carter, Harrison Sobey, and Will Broderick. The three coming up for the Mules. 7-4 Alamo Heights, Tiger Baseball on Vipe Live. Mules led 7-0 at the end of two. And now leads 7-4. Brandon Arvison still out there dealing for the Tigers. Here's holding Carter, who is one for two. And that pitch catches the inside corner for strike one from Big B. 0-1 now to Holden Carter. Big B fires. Carter swings and misses. No balls, two strikes to Holden Carter. Harrison Sobey in the on-deck circle for the Mules. Big B fires. Got him swinging. Another strikeout. For Brandon Arvison, that is six tonight for Big B. And with one away, here's Harrison Sobey. Sobey tonight 0 for 2. Flying out in the first, striking out in the second. Arvison, Sobey hits it high, running to grab it. Great grab out there by Parker Cook. Parker Cook with the monster grab for the second out of this inning. Here is Broderick so far tonight, 0 for 2. What a cook out there in left field by Parker Cook. Two away here in the fifth inning. Will Broderick right now getting instructions from his coach. Brandon Narvison still out there. As rocky of a start that Brandon Narvison got. He does have six strikeouts. First pitch of the at bat catches the outside corner for strike one and is 0-1. On Broderick. Big B quickly ready, fires. Broderick fouls it to the drip side, 0 and 2. Arvison, he's ready and he fires. Got him. Ball got away from Carter Gardner. Carter is going to 
Throw it over to first to Mason Ashlock. Seven strikeouts for Brandon Arvison. Mules go down in order. No runs, no hits, no errors, no one left on. At the end of five, seven, four, Alamo Heights. This is Tiger Baseball on Vipe Live. All of us love sports, but not all sports are created equal. College sports have big budgets, dedicated alumni networks, and corporate sponsorships. Professional sports have even deeper pockets. Millionaire owners, lucrative TV and radio deals, and merchandise sales. High school sports have you. Everyone agrees high school sports give us plenty of reasons to cheer. And now's a great time for us to give back. Supporting your hometown high school won't cost you much, but it will go a long way to ensuring the games we love the most are here to stay. Texas High School Sports. They're good for our kids, good for our community, and best of all, they're good for you. This message presented by the Texas University Interscholastic League and the Texas High School Athletic Directors Association. All do up this half inning. 7-4, your Tigers trail. The Mules of Alamo Heights. Tiger baseball on Vipe Live. James Hobie still out there dealing for the Mules. Here's the first pitch to Sammy. And Sobe fires. Sammy pops it. And it's high. And it's going to bounce near here to the stands. 0-1 to Sammy. I am in the stands tonight. Opposite field. Opposite of, of the Tiger family. As this was the best vantage point for us tonight. And now Sobe deals to 0-1. And Sammy gets ball one and is 1-1 one one on Agajanian. Parker Cook in the on-deck circle for the Tigers. Theo Howard in the hold. James Sobey fires. And Sam with a base hit in the left field. Tigers get the lead hit on board. No outs. Here it comes. Parker Cook. Left fielder number 10, Parker Cook. Parker tonight 0 for 2. But he has Sammy. On base, no outs. Fourth hit of the night for the Tigers. And now Sam takes the lead off first. Sobe fires. Swing and miss. Does Parker Cook and is 0-1 on the left fielder tonight. What a grab Parker Cook had back last inning for the second out. Sammy dancing a little at first. Sobe ready still on one. And he fires. And Parker looks at it. Great eye. Count goes even. One and one. Theo Howard in the on deck circle. Nico in the hole for the Tigers. 7 4 Alamo Heights. Cook now is ready for the one one from Sobe. And Sobe catches the inside corner, a ball and two strikes now to Parker Cook. Parker now waiting for the one-two. And Sobe fires. Parker fouls it out of play. Count remains, the ball and two strikes. Mules led 7-0 at the end of two. They lead 7-4 now here in the top of the six. Sobe 
ahead on the count, a ball and two strikes to Parker. And that ball goes into the ground. Two balls, two strikes now to Parker Cook. Parker now back in the box. Sobey looks over his shoulder at first. The 2-2 two -two now to Parker. And Sobey delivers. Parker gets called out on strikes. I don't think Parker knew that he was, it was an even count anyway. So James Sobey got his second strikeout. Right fielder number 14, Theo. Here Howard. is Theo. With a runner on. And one out. Theo tonight, 0 for 2. He did get on on the fielder's choice. Back in the fourth. 7 4, Alamo Heights. Theo now. Runner on first. One away. As Sobe tosses it back to first. Nico's in the on deck circle. AP in the hole. Sam taking the lead off of first. One out. First pitch of the at bat to Theo. And that pitch is high and outside. 1 0. Oh. Sobe now. Taking his time. Here's the one over to Theo. Sobe fires. Theo swings and misses for strike one and is one and one. As Sobe now readies the 1-1, one, one. and he fires. Sam takes off. Sam stutter steps, and Sam got caught trying to steal at second base, and he goes down for the second out of the sixth inning. Meanwhile, Theo falls behind in the count, a ball and two strikes. Sam hesitated. When he took off, and that hesitation might have cost him. Sobe now, a ball and two strikes, two outs to Theo Howard. And that time the pitch goes to the backstop. The deuces are wild to Theo Howard. Two balls and two strikes, two outs. Nico's in the on-deck circle, opening it on. 7-4. As Sobe with the windup, the pitch, and Theo swings and misses, and the Tigers are going to be down to their final three outs. They did get a single, but Sam got caught trying to steal second. At the end of five and a half, Mules seven, Tigers four. This is Tiger Baseball on Vibe Live. There are no words to describe it. The isolation, the boredom, the loneliness. If you're wondering where your teenage son or daughter's spirit went, you're hardly alone. The past year has been devastating, especially for them. But here's the good news. They might just find it again, playing high school sports. Workouts that stimulate, teammates and coaches that care, the sense of belonging so many of us have been missing lately. That's what school sports are all about. The sense of achievement is real, and the camaraderie is hard to beat. Coping with uncertainty is difficult, but school sports can help the teenagers in your family start feeling like themselves again. Encourage them to give it a try. High school sports, it's so much more than a game. This message presented by the Texas University Interscholastic League and the Texas High School Athletic Directors Association.
bottom of the six. And Brandon Narvison still out there dealing. 7-4 Mules as the first pitch goes behind Jackson Duffin. 1-0 on the second baseman. Duffin and Gulo and Gunter all do up this half inning for the Mules. 2-0 now on Jackson Duffin. Big B fires the 2 0. Swing and miss, does Duffin. Two balls and a strike now. Arvison fires, swings and misses once again, and the count goes even. Two balls, two strikes now to Jackson Duffin. Duffin tonight, 0 for, 0 for 1 in that weird play that happened in the first. And Duffin goes down on strikes, and Brandon Arvison. With his eighth strikeout tonight. Oh, they called a foul. That would have been strikeout number eight. Nonetheless, foul tip, two balls and two strikes. And Duffin fouls it to the third base side. And count remains, two balls and two strikes. Tigers trail 7-4 here, bottom of the six. Duffin, back in the box. Here's Arvison with the windup, the delivery. That pitch is high and inside, full count now on Duffin. As Arvison winds, delivers. Duffin gets it over. Should be an easy play for Jackson Conover, and it is for the first out of this sixth inning. Top of the order, and Bennett Angulo now comes up for the Mules. The shortstop tonight, shortstop one, two for three, Angulo. two singles, and the second time up in the first inning, grounded out. One away here in the bottom of the sixth as that pitch goes into the dirt for ball one. 7-7-0 for Alamo Heights, 4-4-3 four, four, for your Tigers. As that pitch goes high for Brandon Arvison, 2-0. Corbin Gunter in the on-deck circle for the Mules. That pitch goes above Carter Gardner's head. And now Arvison falls way behind in the count. Three balls, no strikes. Now Arvison, ready to 3-0, and he fires. And he got it right on the inside corner for strike one, three and one now on Angulo. Big B, fires. Angulo slices it. Nico had trouble, and Nico is probably going to be charged with the fourth Tiger error tonight, and he does. So Angulo gets on for the third time tonight. Fourth error for the Tigers. Center fielder, number 11, Corbin Gunter. As now, Coach Reynolds coming out. Looks like just to talk to the infield and Brandon Arvison. Maybe get some time there in the bullpen. One on, one out. Corbin Gunter at the dish now for the Mules. Gunter tonight, 0 for 2. He did have a walk back in the first. And now Gunter facing Arvison for the fourth time tonight. Now Big B looks back at first. Fires the first pitch of the at bat. Gunter pops it. Looks like it could be trouble for Theo Howard. No, it won't. Nice put out there for Theo for the second out 
of this inning. Two away. James Sobey coming up to the dish. Sobey tonight has gotten on each plate appearance. A three-run blast back in the first. A balk by Brandon Arvison in the second, and then a walk back in the fourth. Fourth plate appearance tonight for Sobey. Arvison, deep look at first, and he's going to toss it over to first. Arvison now, that's a long look at first, and he fires. And that catches the outside corner for strike one. 0-1 now on James Sobey. And now, Gunter takes off, and he's being called a safe, and Coach Payne is going to argue that one. It looks like Gunter had came off the back, and a timeout. Coach Payne's going to argue that he came off of the back. I don't know how far he's going to get him. Maybe an interference call is what he's asking for as well. I think that's what he's arguing as well. There was an interference call, and then Corbin Gunter came off of the back. Long conversation right now. And Coach Payne looks like he's going to lose his argument. So he's going to head back into the dugout. So Gunter now is at second base. Two away. As he's looking for the pitch count for Brandon Arvison. Nothing yet. Brandon Arvison is, is at 100 now. So this may be his final batter regardless. Here's the 01 now to Sobe. That one's into the dirt, one and one. Nico AP and Taylor Tracy, the three that'll do up for the Tigers in the top of the seventh. A ball and a strike now to James Sobey. The 1-1. One, one. Sobey swings and misses for strike two. A ball and two strikes now to the third baseman. A runner on second, two outs. 7-4 mules. Brennan Arvison, hard look at second. He fires the 1-2. Sobey gets it. Nico with the grab. And the Tigers get out of this inning. An error by Nico Redis, but that is all. And at the end of six, Tigers down to their final three batters. Nico, AP, Taylor Tracy, all coming up top of the seventh. This is Tiger Baseball on Vipe Live. It's been a trying year for parents. They've been confronted with countless challenges and have always risen to the occasion. If it isn't too much to ask, the 826,000 high school student athletes in Texas have one last request. Please set an example. Disorderly fan conduct at high school athletic events is on the rise. It increasingly involves parents. There's no question that parents are passionate. There's no question they care about their children. But at a time when we're all wound a little more tightly than usual, it's worth remembering this about Texas high school sports. 
always be a good example. Stop unruly fan behavior before it starts. This message presented by the Texas University Interscholastic League and the Texas High School Athletic Directors Association. Here we go. Top of the seventh. Tigers are down to their final three outs. Nico, AP, and Taylor Tracy all do up. Tigers trail 7-4. Sobey still on a bump for the Mules. And here's the first pitch of the at-bat to Nico. And that pitch is well inside, 1-0. Four runs, four hits, four errors for the Tigers. Seven runs, seven hits, no errors for the Mules. And that pitch goes inside once again, 2-0 on Nico. The 2-0 now to Nico from Sobey. And he fires. That pitch is inside, same location, same result. Three balls. No strikes to Nico Ruedes. As Sobe winds, delivers. Nico, four pitch walk, and the Tigers get the lead runner on. Here comes AP now, one on. No outs here in the top of the seven. Nico takes a large lead off of first. AP nearly is on top of the plate. Sobe delivers, and he catches AP with strike one. 0-1 oh now. Aiden now back in the box. Nico once again takes a large lead off of first. Sobe looks over his left shoulder. Sobe fires. That's outside one and one on Aiden Perry. Taylor Tracy is in the on deck circle for the Tigers. Tracy with the three run home run back in the fourth. As Sobe tosses it to first and Nico slides back with ease. A ball in the strike to Aiden Perry. No outs. Tigers trail 7-4. Sobey fires. Aiden Perry pops it. And it's going to head over to left field. And left field will miss it. Nico is going to go to second. And let's see how it's scored. It is scored as a hit for AP. And the Tigers... With the first two runners on, no outs. Taylor Tracy at the dish. Taylor Tracy already with a three-run home run. Center fielder number 13, he is the tying run. No outs. As T. Tracy is in the box. Sobey. Looks over at second, and he fires. That pitch is well high. 1-0 and oh for Taylor Tracy. Taylor Tracy gets on. Mason Ashlock is in the on-deck circle. The 1-0 and oh now, the T. Tracy. And Tracy... Grounds it, and it's going to be, it was a close play at first. But they did get the force at first for the first down in the inning. Here is Mason Ashlock. First baseman number one, Mason Ashlock. Mace is one for three tonight. He did have a single back in the fifth. Runner on second and third. One out. 
Tying run at the dish. 7-4, Alamo Heights. Sobe fires. Mason Ashlock gets it in the center field. Nico comes in to score. Here comes AP. He comes in to score. 7-6 now off of the two-run single by Mason Ashlock. Tying run is at first. Here comes Big B. Big B has all walks tonight. Three walks. He has a runner now at first. One away. Mason Nashlock at first. Brandon Arvison at the dish. Sobe fires. That pitch is right down the middle for strike one. 0 oh 1 to Brandon Arvison. Sobe checks over his left shoulder once again. And Sobe fires. And that's another strike. Same location, same result. 0 oh 2 now to Brandon Arvison. James Sobey. Silva sets up on the outside. Sobey fires that pitch well outside. One and two now on Big B. Here's the one, two to Brandon Arvison. Sobe fires. That one's in the dirt. Count is even now, two balls and two strikes. Seven, six. Alamo Heights. Tigers have the tying run at first. One away. And a 2-2 two -two to Brandon Arvison. And Brandon Arvison get caught looking for strike three. Second out of this inning. Third strikeout for James Sobey. Carter Gardner now. Represents the final chance for the Tigers. Sam McAjani is in the on deck circle. Here's Carter now. An extra base hit could bring home the time run. Sobe. He fires. And Carter looks at strike one and is 0 and 1 now on Carter Gardner. Sam is hoping to get on. They get a chance to bat. A ball, one strike to Carter Gardner. Sobe fires. Carter swings and misses. And now the Tigers are down to their final strike. Sobe now with the 0-2, two, two outs. He fires, and that is high and outside, a ball and two strikes. And Sobe steps off the rubber. Mason Ashlock. At first base, two outs, a one-two count to Carter Gardner. And 
And now the one, two. Sobe fires. That's outside. Deuces for Carter Gardner. Two balls, two strikes, two outs. Sobe now with the 2-2 to Carter Gardner. Carter swings and misses, and that will do it. Alamo Heights has defeated Dripping Springs tonight by a score of 7-6. We will give you all the numbers when we come back. Final score tonight, Alamo Heights, 7, your Tigers, Six. This is Tiger Baseball on Vipe Live. Are you worried how 2020 has impacted your teen's social development? We are too. Want to know what might help? Participating in the performing arts in high school. It's been hard being a teenager recently. Hard to cope, hard to keep up, hard not to feel like you're missing out. Everything's different and nobody knows what's next. Encouraging your son or daughter to participate in performing arts can really help. Those are high school activities like band, orchestra, choir, theater, speech, and debate. They'll make new friends, develop confidence, and feel the satisfaction of being part of a team. Participation in the performing arts aren't a cure-all and they certainly won't make the pandemic go away but they will make the teenagers in your family feel like they're part of something special. This message presented by the NFHS and the Texas University Interscholastic League. Heartbreak of the feet tonight. For the Tigers, they lose tonight by a final score of 7-6. to six. Final numbers tonight, Tigers with six runs off of six hits, four errors. The Mules, seven runs off of seven hits, no errors. Brandon Arvison with the full game again tonight, going 6-4, striking out seven. But he also gave up seven runs. Tigers drop to three and two in district play. The Mules improve to two and four in district play. Tigers back at it Friday night against Veterans Memorial from right out here, the Patriots from out here at San Antonio. Coverage will begin 6.50 pregame, seven o'clock right here on Vibe Live. So a tough night tonight for your Tigers. They drop a heartbreaker. Comeback was almost completed. They didn't do it. They lose tonight to Alamo Heights by a final score of seven to six. Thanks to one of my favorite producers, Shane Schawinski, who was our QA tonight for everyone with our Vite family. Melvin Jones saying good night, everyone from Alamo Heights. This has been Tiger Baseball on Vipe Live.